Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. We're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Ryan. Ryan says, hey, I repeat this phrase to myself and it helps remind myself how to think on reading comp. Quote, it's not about reading between the lines. It's about reading the fucking lines. I think you stole that from me, Ryan. So bravo. <laughs> During college, I was often rewarded for inventing interpretations or alternative meanings for a piece of text. <laughs> this is probably the worst thing one can do on reading comp. It's important to adopt the mindset of a lawyer, not an English professor. And that's coming from Ryan. Man, if this was pearls versus turds, I think I would give that a pearl. What do you think? Yeah, we haven't done that in a long time, but no. yeah, this is a pearl. And that's interesting. It made me think about how people are trained, right? It's almost like we're all some version of chat GBT and we've been trained by these English professors, if that's what you ended up studying in college, to look for things beyond the text. And you, you may not even be aware that you were trained to do that. That's just what you were rewarded for, right? <laughs> yeah. And now there's you're a hell of a again. lot of that. I, I've been looking at my uh, niece. She's a, just started her, I can't believe it, high school junior year. It's shocking how fast time goes. But she's showed me some of her homework this year. And there's just a hell of a lot of like, how do you feel about this? Mm. Or, you know, what could, what might the, these people have been thinking during this time? <laughs> and it's like... OK, I'm not, I'm not saying that there's no value in that at all, but it is not applicable to what you're going to be doing on the LSAT. And I don't think it's very applicable to what you're going to be doing in law school either. You know, you do need to be able to think creatively about arguments. You should be able to think about like why an argument is good or why especially why an argument might be bad. Yeah, but <clears throat> that's on logical reasoning way more than it's on reading comprehension. Reading comprehension really is about reading the fucking lines. What did yeah. it say? What did it yeah. actually say in that passage? Yep. When they say it can be inferred from the passage that the author would be most likely to agree with which one of the following, they don't really want you to speculate. They, they want you to base your answer on what the passage actually said. The section's yeah. called reading comprehension. They want to know if you read it. They want to know if you comprehended it. And so they're asking you a whole bunch of must be true questions. Yeah. Stop reading between the lines. Just make sure you understand what the actual lines themselves say. Yep. That's a great tip, Ryan. Thanks for writing in. Thank you. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.